down to 20. And I ain't got time for no fake ass shit, nigga. I'm straight thug. One, two, three. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Challenge. Your boy Robert here, YouTube on Budget. Back with another video in my own lane, doing my own damn thing. Hey, guys, so I'm finna head to this freaking, um, this damn dealership, this uh, Ford dealership. So I think I had, when I bought my truck, they gave me, well, I don't know. No, they gave it to me for free, a couple of oil changes. I think I have like four or five left. Uh, I do get full synthetic oil, so I'm about to take a trip to Alabama. So I want to make sure I get my oil changed before I go. And then I wonder if they will detect this pedal box. Um, so I was like, deciding should I disconnect it or what should I do with it um, so I'm gonna leave it in the car I'm just gonna uh, hide it a little bit I guess so I just want to see if they say anything about it I don't know will it wear my warranty it shouldn't um, but you never know these days with these dealerships but I'm just gonna hide it under my dash so they won't be able to see it um, because I don't want nothing to avoid my warranty so I don't know if a lot of other people go to a dealership with that pedal box connected. Oh, look at that Shelby. That's Dre like them white Shelby's like that. That mother clean too. Um, I don't know if it voids your warranty or whatever, but damn, did I go down the wrong way? Damn, I went down the wrong way. Shoot. Um, but I don't know. Y'all comment below, y'all tell me what y'all think. So we're actually headed to the actual dealership now. I got my truck from um, Auto Nation, Katie off of i-10 uh corey got his truck here too uh my neighbor across the street warner he got his raptor there too um i like them they do good business um great customer service and if you ever want to go oh damn dustin is not a car salesman no more he in finance now so i don't know who y'all gonna go to but yeah just tell them you two in the budget sent you um remember a couple more months it's truck month in march so get you some zero financing man so finna head up here now um i'm gonna actually um hide this mug as soon as i get there because i don't want them saying nothing i got the backpack and all that because i will be editing like always um if you haven't already man hit that subscribe button like the video uh and push that bell notification man uh we on the road to 100k that was my goal for 2020 uh, and we're really close, man, like 16,000 away. I know we can do it. Um, and remember, I'm doing a giveaway once I hit 100K uh, before January uh, 1st. So if I hit 100K before January 1st, like literally midnight, I'm doing a PS4, PS5, and an Xbox X giveaway. Um, and that'll be in the first link in the description. Please make sure you share that with your friends, your classmates, your uncles, your mamas, your baby mamas, your mistress, whoever. They have a chance to win in one of those systems. I'm giving away four to four lucky people. And I might be doing something else that's in the works. But yeah, let me get to this dealership, man, um, and get this truck ready to go and on the way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, before I go, I was thinking about adding a uh, trailer brake to my actual truck. Now, I could pay $180 and add it, or I can get the OEM, which that's probably what I'm looking on doing. It's probably getting the OEM one. I think that'd be better for me, and it can actually go right there where the actual uh, microphone is at for the Link Style Radio. Um, I think that's what I actually I'm going to do. I don't know. We will see. But yeah, I do want to add a trailer brake now. When I go out here to Alabama, I might not. You, I might not get it. One hundred eighty dollars is really not that bad for a trailer brake. But if I do the OEM, I'm not going to spend more. But if I do the OEM, it'll look better. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna go look at the parts and yeah, when I get to the dealership, see how much the parts are and go from there. But yeah, I really wanna add the trailer brake. But everybody's saying I don't need it. Uh, these trucks are meant for uh, hauling and all that stuff. But we'll see. You got a Hellcat white one right there, Challenger, Slim Body. 
Um, but yeah, let me see how much the parts is and all that, and I'll go from there. Man, that's a lot going on at this dealership. We got my F-150 ready to go. You got my F-150 ready to go. And then you got this clean ass Shelby right there. And I, I, I assumed it was supercharged because he got a supercharged supercharged super sticker on the um, on the actual uh, hood. Then I asked the owner, and I feel kind of bad because I asked. I said, "Oh, Shelby's are supercharged, man. If we, I got one too." He said, "It's not supercharged." And I'm thinking to myself, "How isn't your Shelby supercharged?" So I guess some of these Shelbys don't come supercharged, which I don't understand. So you're paying for the package for no damn reason. Then this F450 is very nice. And then you got people getting pulled over in the dealership in a, in a, in a Dodge, a Ram at the Ford dealership, which is crazy. Um, I'm looking for, I don't think they have, man, what's up with these dealerships not painting their cars? I mean, washing their, what painting, not washing their freaking trucks and cars and stuff. This destroyed gray color looking good. EcoBoost. Oh, I like this little Start right here. I'm trying not to mess up none of that stuff. I'm really looking for. I want to see the 2021s. I'm trying to see if they have any that's available yet. And yeah, they got a crap load of uh, Raptors over here. That's kind of like my neighbors. I don't see no 2021 F 150s. But I like this white Raptor though. This white rocket looks really good. How much is it? Seventy-two thousand dollars. Jeez. It looks good on the inside, though. Carbon fiber everywhere. Not everywhere, but most of the spots. Got a nice bed line. Got another one over here. To me, man, these rappers just cost way too damn much money. They're nice and all. 74, and they just cost way too much money. Yeah, that's crazy, though. Man, why he backing my truck out? Like, what is he doing? Oh, he going to the other What the hell is this dude doing? Man, don't fuck my shit up. Turn that mug. Turn it. Turn that mug. Okay. Okay, there you go, bruh. I don't see no 2021s. Man, I don't see no 2021s. I see the F250s. I don't see no 2021 F150s. I guess they're not in yet. This is how you know CarMax is full of shit. So you got this 2018 XL. Mine is a 2018 XLT. Lifted and everything. This mug is $31,000. So I want y'all to look at this truck. And then my truck is right there. But they want to give me 30,000. And the dealerships were selling this mug for 31000 I think that's crazy. So let's see what else we can find around here. XLT. So this is an XLT. It's not white. It looks silver. So it's just dirty as hell. Damn. I thought I had that real rash. This one is 33000 It's a 2019. 33,000 miles. I have less miles than this one. But they want 33000 And it doesn't have a center console. Seats are trash. Man, I'm trying to tell you, man, cars are a waste of money. Trucks are a waste of money. All this stuff is a waste of freaking money. So what's this? Another XLT 2019. Don't have the actual price on there. This is an EcoBoost. Oh, that wasn't included if it was V8 or not. I didn't even see if it was a V8. Uh, this one is... Uh, this one's 32000 this is a 16. 
This mug must be fully loaded. Nope, not fully loaded at all. 2016, yeah, these people are crazy. Try to give me 30,000, 30 freaking thousand. Okay, they got an SRT and they got an RT right there. And that wrapped a little good. Um, um, this guy is going to get a F-250, guys. I'm going to see what, how much they're going to give it to me for. Um, stay tuned for our next video. I might be actually buying me an F-250 and getting rid of the F-150. We don't know. But we shall see. Uh, you got 392 SRT, 2018, 42K, with 42,000 miles, and it got a sunroof and everything. This mug's open, boy. This mug is nice. It smells like old ass leather in this bitch, too. Old leather. Nice and clean. They cleaned it up real good. You can tell somebody did burnouts. All you have to do is look for that fit back there. Cause they can't get all of them. Yep, burnouts right there. That's how you know if people did burnouts. If you ever go look at used cars, they can't get all the nicks and crannies, the vents and all that stuff. That's how you can tell if they did burnouts. But it is an SRT. Is that the F-250? Oh, they got another one over there, look. Oh, I think he got the F-250 I'm looking at. So, um, stay tuned for the next video, guys. We'll see if I get it or not. Right, guys so we should be good to go we should be good to go on the all change Ugh. no tire rotation full synthetic that's what I'm talking about only my OG subscribers know what this means. Only the OGs. If you don't know what it means, I make sure I have it pop up on the screen. Ooh, take this mask off. And we're gonna finish this video. So I'm trying to get ready for that boy Corey. Um Trying to get ready for the boy Corey me. So I'm gonna head to the house real fast because I do have a, a business call I have to make at one o'clock. What time is it? Oh, I got 30 minutes, so I have to take this call. So I need to hurry up and get to the house. I got 30 minutes. And then I hope y'all rest enjoy the rest of the video, man. Uh it's gonna be lit, like always. All right, I mean, thank y'all for y'all support, man. I love getting my oil change because this mug drops so much better when you get your oil change. So I'm only at 28,530 miles in 2018. So I feel like I'm winning.